Diet is a central part of, of health and healing, obviously. And unfortunately, the way that we prepare our foods, conventionally, traditionally, we destroy most of the nutrition, we remove most of the nutrition that we don't destroy, we, we produce toxins. Uh, so we need to look at upgrading the technology that you're using for food production. You know, some foods need to be cooked, some, some foods are better raw, and especially if they're organic and right and fresh and local. Uh, but there are foods like taro, that's one of the most healing foods on the planet. I've had a couple of people I've worked with over the years survived on poi, which is fermented taro root. It's cooked and fermented for two years at a time when they could not eat any other food. It was a total mono diet of poi, and they healed and survived intense, coming back from intense intestinal uh, difficulties. So. When you're cooking food, conventionally, using high heat, which destroys things like B vitamins, they're called heat labile, they, they are destroyed by heat. And uh, we use water or oil that will dissolve and remove many of the nutrients, water soluble nutrients like B vitamins again. Uh, so like steaming, you put it in a steamer and you have all this water in the bottom that's producing the steam. The steam goes up into the vegetables and condenses and drips down and you have that water. If you ever taste that water, uh, there's a lot of chemistry from the vegetables that's now in that water. You've, you've destroyed it with heat, you've removed it with a solvent, water. Uh, and then oxygen. If you're not steaming, you're, you've got oxygen in the environment and so with heat you're increasing the oxidation rate so you're burning, you're oxidizing the nutrients in the food, breaking down the antioxidants for example and so all those are, are key factors that need to change. There's, there are cookware systems that use low heat which means they're also energy efficient. You're going to save more money over the course of a few years with these uh, more specialized cookware devices. Uh, just by using less fossil fuels to heat your food. But more than that, more important, more significant, more important than that, you're retaining the nutrition in the foods. So by retaining all the B vitamins, by retaining the enzyme activity, by cooking at low temperature, very, very important. By not oxidizing, you're going to cook in steam, but not with a bunch of water to produce just enough water to produce the steam so you're not leaching the nutrients out of the food you're just using the steam for, to carry to hold the, the space inside the cookware so there's no oxygen from the, the air in there um, it's amazing the, the taste and the... oh and you're gonna love the food. <laughs> Talk about better flavor, better texture. You can take frozen vegetables, which you know are not the worst, not the best thing in the world. They, you know, you cook them and they taste like they were frozen, right? When you cook them this way, they taste like they were fresh. <laughs> it's it's kind of like the micro water systems were first developed for Japanese roadside stands to cook rice that might be sitting there for a, a couple months uh, between refills and make it taste like it's fresh rice. Well. Cooking with the low temperature, low oxygen, uh, I mean oxygen free uh, waterless cookware, you get you get better tasting food. However it started out, it's gonna be better than it would have been if you if you had cooked it in a conventional way. So really encourage you to to uh, look into that shift and we have different sets that you can get, uh, or you can start with one one pot and pan and start cooking in that. Thank you.